Good evening, everyone. This is Corgaran here. Welcome back. We're going to experiment today with um, different techniques for farming some gingerbread because uh, I know a lot of you are interested, and I think I know what the best method is, but I could be wrong. So uh, I'm just uh, totaling in what I have already, and then we're going to try a few different places and experiment. So I'm going to start with the steampunk chest um, and we're going to run these for five minutes each and we're going to um, hope that, uh, oh, I clicked on the wrong steampunk, and hope that we can get some good uh, options for everyone who, at different levels, uh, for, uh, to find out how to uh, farm gingerbread. Now, while I'm setting up, so this will be a five minute run, um, so let's get going here while I'm talking. Uh, so I do have triple coins and triple damage going, as you can see. Now, what I'm going to do as well is it's competition time, so everyone's favourite time. We are going to be giving away some mythic pets from the Christmas egg. So in order to get that, what you need to do is like, be a subscriber to my channel, and uh, yeah, comment your Roblox account name in the... Um, description of this video simple as that i'm not going to overcomplicate this because it's christmas everyone needs to get some pets uh so i'm hatching mythics pretty quickly um hopefully by the time this is drawn i'll have a lot to give away um i'm going to be yeah i'm going to be keeping the santa paws ones because they're, they're improving my team at the moment but as you can see i'm already opening up a heap of silver stags and silver dragons so i'll give those away Next competition, though, I reckon there'll be Santa Paws in there as well. There is also a second competition uh, that's going to happen throughout the Christmas event. That's on my Discord channel. And I've put a link in the description, so jump onto my Discord channel. Uh, make sure that you jump into the application section and um, apply to be a subscriber. Cause, and in order to do that, just put, your, uh, put a comment in there with the account name you subscribe with. So as we can get you onto the subscriber list. And um, in there, there will be frequent giveaways for, for these legendaries I'm getting. As you can see, there's already a bundle that are going to be given away uh, starting later tonight. Um, and this is going to go throughout the entire uh, Christmas event thing. So make sure you get on there. Look for that giveaway channel as a subscriber. Uh, you must be subscribed to get into that uh, channel. And then from there, yeah, we'll get uh, hopefully get you a few legendaries. Now, everyone, we are really close. I think we're only like 10 subscriptions away from the 500. And you know what that means? Pizza dealer has to pay up. So please, please, please stick a subscription on if you're not already subscribed. For those that are new to the channel, uh, the pizza dealer has is my fiance. And uh, she and I have got a bit of a deal that uh, every 100 subscribers, she has to buy me pizza for dinner. And I'm hungry. I want pizza. So I need your help. So yeah, what I'm going to do is speed up the rest of this chest now and uh, I will come back and we will record the results of how successful this is. Alright, I will be right back.
Okay, as you would have seen, uh, my mic was muted in the last bit, so apologies for that. This timer is now officially up, so let's turn off all our pets. That'll take everyone off there. Um, don't know where all my family went. They were all there a minute ago, but they're not showing on my screen. Oh, well. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do very quickly, I've got five minutes of boost left, is not actually going to work. I'm going to have to reboost. Um, so another common technique, oh, hang on, let's just, uh, we better actually record where we're at. Uh, we have this time, one, one, six, seven, one, six, six, eight, two, one, three. All right, we have, oh, I'm out of cyber foxes, hang on. I've got to go and grab a couple of cyber foxes, bear with me. Um, for those of you who don't know, these guys are actually pretty good in the alien area. So let me just quickly, hang on, how many have I got? I will be back in a second. A few minutes later. All right, everyone, I am back. As you can see, I've got my 20 cyber foxes now, and I'm in the alien forest. So uh, let's reboost up. Uh, triple coins, triple damage. Oh, all right, and let's just start going to town. So the theory here is, um, yeah, put these guys on coin stacks and for some reason it produces multiple um, bags uh, as you can see it's popped out a couple of times and then just keep going around and rinse and repeat so I'm going to test two different ways with this uh, so bear with me and we will get this going all right I will be back All right, the timer's just given up on that. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and let this have the last couple of seconds to pick up this uh, round of coins, uh, loot bags, because it was only like a second over, so why not? It's not gonna skew our numbers too much. All right, let's uh, quickly go in now. We have 11678, 115, 921. And we're going to do another version of this one, which uh, other people sort of swear by. And uh, do, do, do pet sending to single. And we're going to just go one pet per pile on this one. So let's get this one going and see how this one uh, sort of weighs up. Okay, so that's the five minutes there. I'm just going to quickly jot this down. It is one, one, 
Um, and then what we're going to do is just let this run out to the end because um, so far I don't think it's that great but um, I'm wondering what will happen when all of these pets just start uh, finishing off their piles so I'm just wondering if that will suddenly give this massive influx of loot bags I've had a few people write to me and say this is a great method I'm not quite seeing it however so yeah, I am currently also just doing a stopwatch to sort of see how much extra time uh, it takes to break all these. And, um, oh, look at that. So yeah, it's starting to spit out a few along the way. Um, okay, now it's starting to throw out heaps, so maybe it's just a bit slower to get started, but um, better overall. Um, what are we slowly getting our foxes in that here? Alright, I'm just going to speed this bit up as well, so I'll be back with you in another moment. Alright everyone, I'm going to stop this here because uh, that's actually five minutes, so double the time. Let's see if it averages out. So we now have 1617, Alright, so that's those ones. Let's just quickly wrap up, get all of our pets onto. Go back to options, pet sending all because that's annoying me. Let's go. Let's just pick up these extra couple because I want the loot bags, and then yeah, we'll um, go on to the next one. The loot bags are owed to me. Well, oh, that one threw out a lot, so you had one start damaging it and then throw them all on. There you go. All right, so um, the next one we are going to try, and I've lost where all the other loot bags are, so I'm just gonna run around and pick everything up. Um, yeah, I can come in and break these all up later. So uh, the next one we are going to try is what is considered the best. Uh, it's what I've been doing, uh, at least I hope it's considered the best, because um, if not, I've been wasting a lot of time and a lot of boosts. So this one as well has to be done with um, both boosts. And it is, oh look at that, I'm under five minutes just. Equipping your best pet, so if you, this one only works if you can do a lot of damage. So um, yeah, if you can't do a lot of damage, then um, yeah, try one of the other ones that uh, I'll come up with in a second as one of the best. What am I missing? Triple coins, let's get you over the 24 mark. So when this guy actually appears, it is this one. So let's go onto our timer and let's see how this one plays out.
Alright, so that is the end. So I'm just going to turn off my pets there, pick up the loot bags that I already had out. I think that's all of them. They get stuck under the chest every now and then, which makes this method just a tad annoying. All right, let's uh, punch in our new numbers. We have 11782555747. Okay, so now I'm just gonna re-equip my pets. I love that this no pets button is finally showing up for me. All right, so end results in reverse order. Let's uh, bring up the list and see how we go. So. The worst method that I've just tried today was the alien lab with single pets on each pile. That brought in, uh, in five minutes, 3,723,631 gingerbread. The next worst was the alien lab with one pet per pile, uh, with all pets on each pile, which brought in 5,616,000, sorry, uh, 5,616,492. Coming in next. Sorry, that was when I had all of uh, the. Sorry, how I will try this again. The first number, 3,723,000, was Alien Lab over 10 minutes on average per five minutes. Somehow I got. Yeah. On uh, that first run, when I had them all on each individual piles, I got 5,616,000. I don't know what's going on there. It seems to be like a burst at the start, but over a long time, it sort of wears down and you don't get anywhere near as much. So, sorry. Uh, in When I'm putting all pets on in the Alien Labs, it is 644... Sorry, 6,444,708. Um... Yep, moving up to the next one, which is the giant alien chest just with the pets on it. I got 8,994,578. And going up then, the steampunk chest absolutely thrashed the alien chest. So if you're going AFK, forget about it. Go to, uh, sorry, no, actually, that's because I picked up some loot bags out of that as well. Um, so if you can't manage huge number, huge damage like this chest, perhaps try the steampunk chest, followed by the giant alien just for straight grinding. But on that steampunk chest, I got 19,433,511. Absolutely thrashing it all, as we all sort of expected, confirming the results of uh, everyone's advice. This chest here has flown it in in five minutes. I got. 91,376,072 gingerbread. So this is by far the best method, but it does rely on big damage pets because you've got to keep breaking this chest to get the loot bags to pop out. Um, as you saw in five minutes, I think I broke it three times. Um, so it's still reasonably slow for me and my team um, is a decent one. Um, I've got a improve a couple of these pets but you know not bad overall so there you have it this is definitely the way to go now the trap with these chests with this one especially the way this game appears to be designed is if is it this will work if you're the only one that's doing damage to this chest if someone else jumps on this it has this weird way of working out who does what damage and who gets what loot bags. One person will get lots of loot bags and the other person will get next to none. So this only works in a private server. Um, if you're in a public one, then yeah, you start looking at the steampunk chest as an alternative. Um, you're not going to get anywhere near as much, but you should get it more consistently. Um, look. I hope that helps in some way. I'm going to po uh, put up right now, uh, just after this bit, a screenshot of the end results. And uh, yeah, you can make your decisions based on that. If you've got a private server, you are laughing. Um, we all know Preston uh, loves his income and getting everyone to do private servers, I'm sure gives him some degree of income as well. So that's why this is probably happening this way. So as people go off and pay for private servers and he gets more money. 
But in the short term though, good luck to everyone. I'm gonna jump on uh, a bit later and start burning through these 11 uh, billion uh, odd gingerbread that I've got. And hopefully that a huge Christmas cat uh, pops out for me. So thank you to everyone. Now remember, entering the competitions, the giveaway for the Mythics is be a subscriber, like the video and uh, yeah, comment your Roblox account name account name not display name if you can't comment on youtube then send me a message in roblox chat with the youtube name you're subscribed with and uh, yeah still be a subscriber and like the video because liking the video makes me feel good the other competitions as i said join the discord server again the link is in the description um read the rules no begging is a big one in there um that's already had a couple of people get in trouble with it uh, a couple of people have had temporary bans and things we do have moderators that jump on and check this thing regularly um but once uh in the there's a section there to apply for subscriber where you've just got to put in your youtube account name that you're subscribed with we'll get you up to a subscriber which will open up the giveaways channel and in that, there are, I'm going to be giving away legendaries as I get them. So you've got an opportunity to get extra pets over and above uh, the general competition pets as well. So good luck, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, hopefully we all get huge Christmas cats because that would be awesome. And I really want one to complete this team because I've got the current existing huge cats. So let's get number three in there as well. All right, everyone. Take care. Thank you. And I will see you next time.